nerd dice. Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is episode number 84 in our series, Create a Ruby Gem, Nerd Dice. And so we are finishing up on this ability to use convenience methods epic here. And the goal for this episode is to at least get the, the, the readme updated. Depending on how long it goes to do that, I will uh, see whether to pull in to update, update the change log is in this episode or in a separate one. So um, if we look at the ability to use convenience methods here, I provided this detailed requirements section in, uh, in the comments. So that's going to get us most of the way there in terms of documentation. And um, I will essentially add this as a um, method missing convenience method section to the readme within the usage section. And then um, again, most of this is going to, to work. I'm going to, if we look at our overall readme here, so installation, usage, I'm going to add a link to the convenience methods section in the um, at the top of this, and then I'm going to add in the section itself, probably before rolling I should probably put it all the way down at the bottom, um, but with a, a link to it at the top so that um, somebody can can jump to it if they if they want to handle that part of things. So that's what I'm going to do. So if we go to our readme here, so we've got our our markup in Markdown. Uh, so I'm gonna create a another comment here on uh, where is on this issue so that I can preview my markdown uh, especially want to make sure that I get the link working correctly uh, to the appropriate section so I'm going to go to edit here this gives me all of the markdown for this comment. I'm going to cancel my edit there, create a new comment, which will be the contents of my README. And then I will paste this into a new file. And it auto detected markdown, which is pretty cool. And so in the readme here under usage, I'm going to add section for um, the dynamic convenience methods. I'll just pause and type that up and then we'll talk about it. All right, so right now I have the placeholder for the convenience methods mix in section right at the end of usage. And then I've got a header that I added. First, I had not specified to require the gem. Uh, so I added that in and then a section about uh, how you can use module methods or the dynamic method missing DSL. And so hopefully this link will work if I go in and test it out in this comment. Uh, I might not be able to test that until it's actually I'm going to try since there's a hyphen a space after the uh, the item I'm going to try adding a hyphen there and seeing if that does anything. Otherwise, I might just need to 
test that after committing. Okay, so yeah, it, it does it internally. So I guess I could go in and see what the the anchor for this is. All right, so I might need to add an empty anchor tag. I'll try that. All right, so I'll try that out in the comment. Preview. There, it works. Okay, so that is how I will do it. And now I'll um, start fleshing out this section there. All right, so I've gone through. If we look at the the changes here, I added. The, um, the the link there and then in the section I provided information about um, about the mix-in considerations so if you are combining this with a gem that also overrides method missing and um, that we can't test every possible interaction with that especially if um, the other gems version of method missing isn't invoking super or doing anything like that. So provided some documentation and uh, alternatives there. The uh, examples of mixing in the convenience methods module using include, which makes it a, uh, an instance method or extend, which makes it a class method. I'll come back to that. I might wind up extending, um, convenience methods into nerd dice. Um, so I'll think about that, um, which may affect our, our readme. But uh, continuing on, uh, gives the usage examples, which I pretty much just ripped right out of the comment in the convenience methods issue, um, other than like I took out the word works and a few of them and stuff like that, but um, that's what we've got so far. So I'll take this, copy it, paste it into the comment here. Make sure I don't have any horizontal scrolling Nothing looks weird. Still make sure the click works. Okay. I'll pause and proofread this. So looking at that, I'm overall happy with it. I made a couple of tweaks. So here where it says, um, metaprogramming method there, I used pattern. Uh, I, I replaced that with pattern. And then there was one more situation where I, I changed and to and or when it was talking about the advantage, disadvantage, yeah, right here, mechanic. So I made those two changes. And before I continue, I want to try and see if um, extending the convenience methods into nerd dice itself will break anything or not. So I'm going to go to nerd dice .rb. And I'm going to try to Do 
that. Hop into the console. That seems to work. seems to not break our specs. Rubocop doesn't mind it. All right, so let me add some specs to the um, to the nerd dice level item just to um, to cover some of those uh, use cases. I'm not going to do it extensively, just make sure that the um, that it's working as intended. So I've got the items pasted in here. I'm just gonna try to replace magic with described class. And see where that gets us. side of the decribe, yeah, we can't do much decribing here. Right. Let's try it again with the correct spelling of describe, and we do have a couple of failures, so let's take a look at this. We've got undefined variable magic without the All right, so we'll just replace that with describe class in those two places. That's working. Uh, Rubocop is. All right, those are all auto correctable. Our spec is still passing. Rubocop is now happy. So let me change the um, the README to reflect this new pretty cool functionality that we added in at the last minute. So add in information about this. So I've got a new section for that. That was a nice find. I, I think, like if I go and do this, that's going to be the the way that I primarily play around with this. If I'm doing scripts and dice rolling and stuff like that, because it, it doesn't worry. You don't have to worry about it polluting the namespace of whatever object you've got or interacting with whatever pollutions exist in in that object's um, ancestors or anything like that. So. Sweet. All right. So we've done the the README. I will give it one final look through. Make sure the stuff I added didn't turn it ugly. So, 
got that. Make sure everything we have open is saved. Except for this, which we can do away with. And now we can turn our attention to the change log. here that we so I'll just write out the changes so the the process I'm going to do here is looking at the the changes in the pull request including the ones that we just did with extending um, uh, nerd dice everything else is fa fairly well encapsulated so uh, there there aren't any breaking changes associated with this pull request, which is another nice thing to um, to accomplish in a, uh, this is a an ambitious and uh, very fun um, epic. So I'm glad with how it's turning out. Let me update change log. Yeah, I think that's it in terms of change log. So just I guess I'll add add that in there and I think we're good. Just going to. I'm going to create a separate story and commit for the um, the changes to to convenience methods, uh, extending that into nerd dice. That that deserves to be its own commit. So I will create a item on the backlog real quick. So I've got my new card here. I'll, uh, so we'll go and git add lib, git add spec. Write my commit message. So I've got this commit message. Yeah, that gives me what I want. And then add those in, write this commit message. So I've got my commit message. We should now be two ahead of the branch. Just one final check here. Get push, and if this is successful, I'm going to merge this into master. Wait, await with bated breath the results of the GitHub action. And in anticlimactic failure, I had <laughs> anticlimactic can't think of the word fashion. There we go. We have failed the benchmark on. the portal that 
nice version of that. So go in and up that ratio. While I'm in here, I think I'm going to get rid of this include statement and those Rubicop disable statements. And for each of these, I'm just going to do uh, nerd dice dot for these. I'll pause and do that. So I've got that replaced everywhere. It's still calling the methods dynamically and doing the same. Hmm. That was line 296. Let's check that out. 296. Seven ninety nine fifty four is where the interesting and that was pretty significant. I'm just going to try it a couple more times here. Yeah, that was just seemed like an anomaly there, but the Secure random there. And it is the magic that. Yeah, it was that one. So we'll up those. here all right give that a shot make sure I didn't Mess anything up there. Look at our diff. Rubocop is happy. I'm just going to do a commit amend here. force push so I've got my new new commit message with a blurb about the benchmark we will try a force push here shall once again await for our action to complete and we are double green so now we can go into the pull request there hasn't been any activity on master so I'm just gonna fast forward merge it in the command line
remotely merge the pull request. to our issue. We shall close our issue. We shall cancel our fake comment. Issue is closed. Oh, come on. Twenty six point one. I'm just going to rerun it. So I'm going to go here. rerun all jobs. All right, now we are all green. Let's take a look at our code. So our coverage, our maintainability are still good. I'm going to click into, so we've got now the convenience methods work there. If I go to the change log, one more thing I wanted to test is make sure that goes to the right place here. It does. All right, so let's check out our maintainability. Zero code smells. I believe we are ready to release. We'll do that in the next episode. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.